My name is Sean Fraser. I'm a professional swimmer, um, but I'm heading back to law school uh, this fall. I noticed I had a, a kind of a abnormal growth in my hand and um, just swimming a lot and having to do a lot of uh, you know, physical exercise, push-ups, pull-ups, in the weight room and, and um, in the pool. Just a lot of hand, hand movements and I knew I needed to, um, just was bothering me a lot and I just knew I needed um, to take care of it eventually. And uh, it got referred to Dr. Badia and he did a great job and you know it's been worry-free ever since. Well, Sean Frazier is a special patient for me because I'm a frustrated swimmer myself. I swam in high school and when I meet somebody of that uh, caliber who is able to swim at a 200 meters against a guy like Michael Phelps, uh, immediately I have an admiration. But more importantly as a physician, uh, to be able to get him back to doing that sport at that level and for him to actually be able to compete in the London Olympics after a wrist surgery is uh, something very gratifying to me and, and obviously to the patient. He had been referred by some colleagues in the Cayman Islands and he uh, swims for his uh, native country, the Cayman Islands, very small country, they're very proud of him and his, and his brother who both swim at the Olympic level. Dr. Padilla recommended, um, well at first he recommended not having surgery if it wasn't bothering me, but it had been bothering me for a while. Um, so uh, I made an appointment and uh, popped in for, you know, it was 30 minutes and uh, I was out, out in 30 minutes and my hand hasn't felt better since. So what we had to do was a partial fusion of that bone, which means we eliminate the joint so that there's no, no micro motion at this point. Uh, to do that, we had to uh, do some bone grafting and uh, uh, basically create a bridging area of bone so that the pain would be eliminated and more importantly, to so it doesn't come back. Uh, obviously it didn't, he was able to uh, compete and I think he made it to the uh, semifinals in the 200 meter, which is really an, an impressive uh, and for me, very enviable uh, accomplishment. So Dr. Badia uh, made a physical therapy plan um, that allowed me to you know, slowly ease back into the water while also regaining full motion in my hand. So, uh, I mean, that's why I, I, I think the doctor referred me to him because, you know, he's the best in the business. Uh, I'm fortunate in that the Cayman Islands has uh, several very good physical therapists, so there's, a, there's an excellent communication, which I think is important in terms of any uh, patient from abroad. You know, the typical medical tourism patient, which we call nowadays, uh, when they come to the surgeon, it's very important that when they leave and they go back to their home country that there's communication with the referring physicians and that there is uh, communication with the therapists uh, between uh, them and myself to be able to coordinate the ongoing care, particularly in somebody who's planning on, on, on competing in the Olympics. Dr. Thurbidia, um, if he's among the top, if not the best, orthopedic surgeon, I think, personally, in the United States of America. Um, I've had my hand done and then I, my, my dad has come and got his shoulder done as well. And um, I would definitely refer him to anyone who has, uh, you know, pain from the, from the arm, from the fingers to the shoulder. Um, I, uh, the job that he's done and uh, how I feel now definitely is worth uh, the investment.